Hi, let's see, how to install WordPress tool and what basic configurations are needed for WordPress to work properly. Please be informed that, this tutorial will work for you if you already watched all my videos dedicated for this and you did all the stuff presented there. In description you will find the links to all required videos. In the picture from bottom right side of the screen it is a block diagram of all the applications that interacts with WordPress. A great care should be taken regarding the users for each of the applications. The automatically update of WordPress using a secure FTP will be done on another video. In the beginning, we have to download the WordPress tool. It is recommended to take it from the official website and not from other sources. Go to wordpress.org website and download it from there. In my case, I downloaded the zip archive in the download folder. Now, we have to move the zip file from download folder to www folder that it is located in var folder. After the zip archive was moved in the correct place then it must be unzipped, please use next commands. Check if you have now the folder WordPress there on the path slash var slash www. Now, it is the time to configure Apache server to point to the new folder. Before, was pointing to HTML folder and now should point to WordPress folder. Edit virtual host configuration file of Apache, in my case Linux class SSL.conference, and replace HTML with WordPress, in the path link, from document root line. Restart the Apache server. To verify if WordPress is working and if it is in the right place, open a browser and type https, colon, slash, slash, then localhost. We should see welcome to WordPress page with information of what to do before getting started. Same result we should have if we are using instead of localhost our domain name, if you have one, if not watch my video dedicated for that, my domain name is linuxclass.ddns.net. Now it is the time to configure my SQL Server, to work with WordPress. First, we need to do it in MySQL console and after can be used PHP my admin that it is more user friendly than MySQL console. First, we have to create a new user that have full access to MySQL server. In my case I chose PHP my admin underscore admin. Please add a strong password they're not like me, 
that user can have access from internet and have full access to all your databases. Grant full privileges to that user. Now create a new database dedicated for WordPress. I chose the name WordPress. Create now, a user that will have full access to WordPress database only. I chose the user's name to be WordPress underscore user. Grant full privileges to that user only for WordPress database. Now it is the time to configure WordPress tool. First create a copy of the file wp-config-sample.php and name it wp-config.php. Now edit the new file copied before wp-config.php. Replace the parameters um database name, user database name and the password with yours. In my case the database is named WordPress. The user I chose it to be WordPress underscore user and password 123 until 9. Also change the authentication unique keys and salts, do not leave there the defaults like me. Save and close the file. Open the browser and type https, colon, slash, slash then your domain and name and we should see WordPress welcome page, where you can choose your admin credentials. After you filled all, press install button. A success page should be displayed. Press login button. Login, there, using the credentials chose before. If everything was okay then the WordPress administration page should be displayed.
please leave a comment if something is missing or wrong. If this method worked for you, please give a like and subscribe to my channel for next useful videos of how to do it in Linux Mint. Thank you for watching.